Thank you again everyone for tuning in. This is part two of the Scotland trip and we've just arrived at Lass. Yes, guys, if you haven't checked out our previous video, I would strongly recommend you guys just going and checking out our video, which is Loch Lomond. So we arrived to Lass, Lass from Loch Lomond on a cruise. So this is a beautiful view if you guys can see this. As you can see around, this is one of the best views we've ever seen. Absolutely captivating and so beautiful as well. And we entered Lust. Lust is a small village. To give you guys a little bit background of, about Lust, it is discovered only in 18th century. And you know, only people like who used to work in the caves, as in, not caves, I would say, slaters and stuff, they used to live over here. And that's how Lust was discovered. I think one of the best features about this particular trip was you could feel the peace around, you know. I mean, yes, there were many people around, but at the same time, you could see peaceful people. Love was in the air, you know. You could see that couple there as well, hand in hand. And it's so beautiful to see such amazing people around. Yeah. And uh, as we walk through the village, right, you can see nice pathways as well as pubs. And uh, you know, we tried to go and have a nice meal in the pub, but unfortunately it is so busy and we were asked to wait at least 45 minutes. So we thought, you know, let's let's go and explore the rest of the village. And we went into this, you know, a small corner shop where you have all this merchandise where you can actually buy Scottish stuff. You have Scottish biscuits. It's one of the best biscuits in UK. You guys should definitely, uh, you know, check that out. And also you can see like Scottish flags as well as you can buy like all the local stuff if you if you ask me yeah and a good selection of wine as well uh, something that we really love is ginger wine uh, which obviously was very very tasty and that's something that we will definitely keep going back to Scotland for absolutely absolutely <laughs> in fact that is one of the main reasons we often go to the Scotland and uh, yeah, we were so hungry that day and you know we decided to take some sandwich because we don't have much time actually to sit and eat, you know? And we decided to take a hot food instead of a cold sandwich. Yeah, yeah. And of course, because the pubs were overcrowded as well that day, and the wait time was really long, so we didn't really go there. And we just decided to get some hot food. And as you can see, there are multiple options here with different availability of uh, different kinds of food that you've got, different burgers, uh, pastries, etc. And we, we came out and we, we, we had basically the sandwich it's amazing you know it's wonderful to sit under the tree and just enjoy the nature absolutely yeah. absolutely just connecting yourself back to nature that's that's the best thing ever yeah and on the way back uh, we seen this uh, small you know uh, what do you say this yes this place I was talking about yes we have seen this smokehouse shop basically you know you, you take do all this smoked fish and smoked salmon apparently it's you know one of the best in lust we couldn't make it because it's so busy as well and we thought you know let's get this and you know we'll come back to this later probably you know next summer or something and if you're a seafood fan you know where you definitely have to go first yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes and uh, we are going back to the pier and you're just walking down you know whenever i see elderly couple you know i it energizes me because it motivates me a lot whenever you see a people you know a couple especially walking hand in hand absolutely absolutely i mean it's so beautiful and uh, just on this walk as well you know as you can see there's mountain ahead of us this beautiful little pathway and little cottages around with lovely greenery lovely flowers we've seen so many colorful flowers some of the colors that i didn't see in the past and lovely and bright and one of the best walks actually just as you're walking along with us i'm sure you feel that sense of calmness and you know just just so soothing to the eye and to the soul as well so definitely definitely a 
strongly recommended place to visit especially if you see people over here they're very relaxed and you know you guys need to escape from the busy life right we definitely need this kind of environment just to chill out relax and you know leave everything aside and just you know feel like a bird like you have wings and you have to fly and don't keep any tensions in your mind and life will definitely move on in a positive and a better way absolutely absolutely some a really good point a really strong point actually and you know it's it's always about living for the moment if that makes sense and it's it's just you know you just let go of everything and just sort of enjoy each moment as it comes so this journey absolutely you can see how many people have actually taken the effort to come this far people from different countries little kids elderly people middle aged people you name it you've got them all here across a spectrum of ethnicities and across a spectrum of age groups as well everyone's here just to chill and relax and you over there you can actually see like little kids playing over there so if you are planning to come with your kids you know this is one of the best places because it's not overcrowded and also you can see ducks as well as swans over there and over there if you observe you know these are the little cottages over there if you want to ha- you know stay for one or two days this is the best place and you can actually go and stay in that cottages oh my god i'm sure you guys will love this trip and what better way to actually connect back to nature connect back to where we truly belong to right absolutely absolutely look at that view and you know you can actually you know remove all the toxins from your body actually if you just stay here for one day it will make a lot of difference and we had this ice cream over here this is one of the best ice creams i ever had don't don't miss this guys trust me you will love it oh yeah absolutely i had two in fact <laughs> <laughs> yes and of we've also seen like some of the people actually doing you know uh, hiring a small boats if you are into this boat kayaking and you know going on a smooth ride you sh- you can actually hire boats from here and people are actually friendly and lovely as in you know you will not have any kind of a resistance from a local people of course of course in fact uh, this is one of the a um, major famous tourist place as well and as you can see i'm i'm on my phone you know trying to capture the best moments there as well and just taking in nature as we just walk along with these wonderful sceneries and i just can't stop talking about how beautiful this trip has been yeah yeah as we walk in you can see all oh, that little dog you see <laughs> <laughs> there's so much love that's what i'm talking about there's so so much love Yeah absolutely absolutely I mean I've I've seen like different people coming from different age groups as Rose mentioned before look at the houses I would love to have one of those houses you know in the near future Oh my god yes I mean imagine waking up to that scenery the sunset and in the morning you just wake up you see this splendid view Oh my god I would love to retire here some day <laughs> Absolutely absolutely of course yes why not I mean this is one of the best places I would say and look at people they're so relaxed no tensions at all and you can see absolutely no resistance only love i can say i can see only love over here look at that mountain look at that river and you know this river is loch lomond uh, you guys have definitely need to check our previous video which is loch lomond cruise trip you know i have give we have given basically a lot of details about loch lomond and where is where it is and stuff and also to give you guys a little bit background about this particular place you can actually come from ah see there see there you can see a glider whenever i see gliders like this it reminds me of the looney looney tunes is it looney tunes or yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> back to childhood again <laughs> back, to, back to childhood yes back to childhood yeah at the let cottages over there yes yeah, so this is um, about 27 miles away from the glasgow if you guys are coming on road it only takes like 40 minutes from the glasgow city center but if you are planning to come to this particular place you can actually come to the loch lomond you know uh, which are, we already mentioned in our previous video and you can take a cruise to this place or else if you want to come by public transport there are different you know buses available from glasgow city center as well as the central scotland so you know and if you've got the time you know i would definitely request you guys to actually come by cruise 
because come on you wouldn't want to miss this view at all ever and it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity as well i'm sure for tourists and for other people as well so please do try and come and visit via cruise and just enjoy absolutely you know you would just spend all your day here just looking at those mountains you know you have every combination there if you ask me and you you, you know we couldn't stay there for a, at least one night but i would strongly recommend you guys just stay at least one night watch that sunrise and you know sunset trust me it's amazing oh yeah and we will definitely be going back i mean you know that we're not able to shut up about this place because obviously it's so beautiful and we definitely will be going back and doing another uh, vlog for you guys very soon yeah great great so yeah we will leave you guys here check out this wonderful video and also please don't forget to subscribe as well as please forward this video to your friends and family and whenever you guys need any information about uk scotland you know all these trips please send us a comment or you know we will definitely respond as soon as possible and get in touch via email as well we're very happy to help out in every possible way so guys enjoy the views and chill
so guys how was the journey i hope you guys loved it as much as we did so you're back to lock lamond and you will find more information about lock lamond in our first video but now the plan is to reach lock lamond and to jump on to the next adventure of our scotland trip which is inverness so we'll catch up with you in our next vlog and see you in inverness thank you so much